Today on Deep Dive, we're going to be looking at Marvel Comics The Amazing Spider-Man number 70. Can Spidey regain the police trust? Will Kingpin remain behind bars? Let's find out inside this exciting issue. Welcome back to my Deep Dive series where I pick a comic from my collection and turn the pages front to back for collectors and enthusiasts alike. I don't often do comics in order, but if you haven't seen my video on Amazing Spider-Man number 69 and want to catch up with Spidey's previous adventure, I'll link to it here and in the description below. You'll find lots of great artwork and advertising within these books, so feel free to pause the video to study the pages. Since each book is from my own collection, you can expect the conditions to vary. Sometimes the covers are completely separated, and other times the pages are ripped or missing. You never quite know what to expect with every turn of the page. While these can be viewed on your phone or computer, I like to cast it on my TV so I can really see the detail and quality of the book. If you enjoy these types of videos and want to see more content like it, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I'm trying a variety of content, so who knows what I'll post next. The Amazing Spider-Man number 70 was published in March of 1969. Editor-in-chief was Stan Lee. Cover artist was John Romita Sr. The story titled Spider-Man Wanted was written by Stan Lee, penciled by John Romita Sr., inked by Jim Mooney, and lettered by Sam Rosen. The book consists of 36 pages with a cover price of 12 cents. The story begins with Spider-Man on the run from police and in possession of an ancient tablet that the Kingpin tried to steal in the previous issue. This book features an iconic cover created by John Romita Sr., and the story was reprinted in Marvel Tales number 53. While the Kingpin has been arrested, he quickly breaks out of jail and begins searching for Spidey in the tablet. It's not long before Spidey confronts the Kingpin and the two start to battle. Some of the advertising found within this issue is a crash weight gaining plan developed by the trainer of champions Joe Wider, an advertisement from the U.S. School of Music to teach yourself musical instruments at home, a six-foot-long missile tank large enough to fit two kids for only $6.98, and a monster-sized skeleton that glows in the dark for only $1.75. In the middle of the action, J. Jonah Jameson arrives on the scene and calls the police to report the two. Naturally, the Kingpin escapes, leaving Spider-Man to be berated by Jameson. Spidey argues back, causing Jonah to have a heart attack. If Jonah dies, would that make Spider-Man a murderer? Readers would have to wait until the next issue to find out. I hope you found this deep dive informative. I'd like to know if you already have this issue or if you're thinking of adding it to your collection. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to support your local comic book shop or dealers wherever you are. And until next time, deep divers, thanks for watching.